My name is Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about mean, mode, range, and average. Now, all four of those ideas are very statistics related, so we're going to do an example that highlights all four. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about is mean and average do mean the same thing because finding the mean is just like finding the average. So before we do that, just understand that those two concepts are synonymous with each other. So let's first talk about what those ideas actually mean. You already know that mean is just like finding the average. Mode is the number that will appear the most. We'll get to that in a little bit. Range, the definition of range is the highest number minus the lowest number. So let me give you a quick sample of numbers and we'll see how you can apply all of these. So let's just say you have these numbers here. 3, 6, 7, 7, and 10. Now, to find the mean, or finding the average, what you want to do is you want to add all of these numbers together and divide by how many numbers that you see. So you have here five total numbers, so you will divide by five. So what you want to do is add these along the way. So 3 plus 6, you have 9. 9 plus 7, you have 16. 16 plus 7, you have 23. And 23 plus 10, you have 33. So we're going to do 33 divide by 5. And if you want to leave it as an improper fraction, you're more than welcome to. But as you can see, this is not a reducible number. So this is actually going to be your mean slash average. Now, in terms of your mode, the mode is the number that shows up the most number of times. As you can tell from this list of five numbers, the number 7 shows up twice. All the other numbers show up only once. So your mode is actually going to be the number 7 in this particular scenario. Now the range, we'll talk about the range very, very shortly. The range, by definition, is the highest number on the list minus the lowest number on the list. So as you can see from this list of five numbers, the highest value is 10, and the lowest value that you see here is 3. So we're going to do 10 minus 3, which coincidentally is also the number 7. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a quick overview as to how to identify the mean, mode, range, and average.